to set up this experiment, you take your CD and you're going to mark on a piece of paper uh, around the CD and in the middle there. The middle is going to help you get a center point of uh, where you need to make uh, the sections. So basically you're just going to make an X and then from there you're going to draw a line right down the middle. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, and there's your six sections. Then you're going to take your colors and you go the exact order like this. Red, violet, um, and then uh, blue, I believe it's green, and uh, yellow and orange. I do the same thing with crayons to give a little lighter effect, and you'll see the two different examples with the Sharpie and the crayons. So I'm not going to show you the crayons, the Borea. Then you're going to cut it out right on the line uh, to see your cutting skills. Do the same exact thing with the cardboard here. You're going to cut it out. You do not need to do the middle um, here. Then you're going to take your glue stick, glue the cardboard, and then you're going to place... Um, on both sides. I did the uh, Sharpie on one side and I'm going to do the um, crayon on the other side. From there you're going to take either a skewer or you're going to take toothpicks. I just use toothpicks and you're going to go on the outside of the circle on one of the lines here, the straight line right there, um, and you're just going to poke a hole all the way through. Be careful um, when poking through. It should be pretty easy. Um, it go right through. Wiggle it around so there's enough room for the string to go in. So you want a little bit bigger it doesn't have to be huge, but uh, big enough for the string so it's not tight. Then you're going to take 36 inches of string, or 91 centimeters. Um, so that's a, rule, that's a 12 inches right here. I'm going to do that three times. And then we're going to cut it. And from there, um, then we're going to uh, lace it through the disc. So now we're going to lace it through at both sides. You, I should have had the crayon on this side, so I would had them on both sides, uh, which I do correct. Um, and then lace it straight through on this side again, and then you're going to get the ends to come even. Um, and once you get them even, then you're going to tie a little knot at the end, just loop it around once. Uh, it doesn't have to be a double knot or anything. Keep it as close as possible. And then you're going to grab um, both ends and center the cardboard, the disc in the middle, and you're ready to do your experiment. So now you're going to spin the disc around with both hands or one hand. You just got to spin it around until it gets super tight. You'll feel the string tighten it up. Then you pull out, let it finish spinning, and then pull back in. I'm going to wind it up a little bit more. And then you pull out, let it wind up, pull in, like, you know, kind of release. And you go, it'll go faster and faster. And you'll see with the darker colors on the Sharpie, it almost goes to a white reversed rainbow here with Newton's disc. Um, it doesn't quite, you got a little bit of uh, like a pinkish color in there I'm seeing. Uh, as it goes, the fastest it goes is when you're going to see that. So when we switch over here, I'm going to go to the uh, lighter crayon colors that I have on the other side. Wind it up, get it going, and then pull out and get it going. Once you get it going, you can see here it actually almost blends into the white light. You almost see completely white there as it goes super fast. That's awesome. So you get a reverse rainbow there uh, by spinning it the faster you go. And you can see my hands, I'm pulling out, let it relax, and then pull in. All right, keep going back and forth. And you can see it gets to that white color right there. So the science behind this will show you how the colors in Newton's disk blend together. And they are merged to blend to the white light to our brains and our eyes. The Newton disk is a well-known physics experiment and was invented by Isaac Newton. My disk has six segments of the rainbow colors. When the disk is rotated really fast, as you see here in the video, the colors will fade to white. This is what Isaac Newton demonstrated, that white light is a combination of the different colors found in the rainbow, hence the name Reverse Rainbow. I created Newton's disc with six different colors, but you can do the combination with just red, green, and blue in the circular disc to yield the same results. This is due to the phenomena called persistence of vision. It's a very important discovery that proves that light is not colorless, but has color in it together that converge to give the faded white color, which we consider colorless. This experiment was the final proof that white light is made up of all colors in the visible spectrum.